campaign. One of the biggest kickoffs is in the first week of May this year. You can get a little taste of the celebration without leaving the D. Michelle Oliver is taking us to dine in the D at a Detroit gem, dishing up some authentic Spanish food. Here at La Feria, with their bright colors, good food, and tasty drinks, life is a party. So La Feria means the, the fair or the festival. There's a week-long festival in Spain that basically celebrates the arrival of springtime. All you do for one week is eat, drink, and dance. We dance flamenco all day long. So it's like, I want to bring the party to Detroit. Pilar is originally from Spain. And before she was sautéing her muscles here, she was making them up at home for her friends. Uh, we used to just get together and have house parties all the time. And Pilar and my sister, um, who also spent time in Spain, used to do all this amazing Spanish cooking. And every time we got together, we would just joke about, we should open a Spanish restaurant, we should open a Spanish restaurant. And four or five years ago, we finally said, yeah. let's do it. They competed in the Hatch Detroit competition and won. With the help of the prize money, they were able to start dishing up their tapas in 2014. Tapas is like you see, it's a small plate, so it's like an appetizer. So yeah, it's how we eat in Spain. There's no like individual entree for each person. It's it's all about the you know the family style of dining with friends, you know, family. It doesn't matter who you're with, but it's very social. This tapas is the food. I always eat at home, so they're actually recipes from my mom and my grandma. It's how I learned to cook in my kitchen with my mom and my grandma. One of their most popular tapas is the garlic shrimp, or how do I pronounce this? So this is gambas, gambas al ajillo. Al ajillo? Yes. We start by adding four shrimp to a hot pan with some olive oil. So now we need some salt. So I want to put salt. Next comes fresh minced garlic. Uh, is that too much? Um, it's fine. I love garlic, so. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm all about garlic. <laughs> then, for a bit of spice, we sprinkle in some red chili flakes. We're gonna do some parsley now. This dish is just getting more colorful by the minute. I like it. Once the shrimp is done, mm, you can smell that garlic. We put them on a small plate and drizzle on the delicious garlic sauce. It seems very simple, but good. Yeah, have a lot of flavor, you know, with the olive oil and the garlic, and before the shrimp, yeah, have a lot of flavor. What's cool about tapas is that it, it spans a whole range from the carnivore to the vegetarian, so we have something for everyone. And everyone in the building wants something from the studio this morning. Uh, we've got Elias Khalil, who's here, Pilar Beron Hidalgo, co-owners of La Ferry. It's good to see you. Good to see you, Yeah, too. what were you just asking a minute ago? Because you've been working so hard back here. Well, you're missing a mirror, because yeah. I don't even know how my hair looks. Let's so. see. <laughs> it looks fine. looks beautiful. You look great. Thank good you. Good to see you. Nice you're doing all right? You. Excellent. Good. Everything Thank just you. smells so great. You brought a wonderful spread here. So help us out and talk about this idea, because you were part of the Hatch competition, mm -hmm. and that winning has brought you some attention, but also you've just been doing some great things in town, right? Well, we, we try to every day, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Hatch Contest was back in 2012. It was the second year that they launched. Okay. And we were fortunate enough to win out of more than 250 applicants that year. Is that year. great? And it definitely mm -hmm. helped propel us to opening the brick and mortar. And okay. Here we are three and a half years later. All right, so tapas, that's what you specialize in. That's right. Tapas means what? Uh, we know it as small plates. Is it's it literally plate. that? Yeah, yeah, it's like appetizer. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what did you bring? Because it looks awesome. Um, so we have escalivada, which is roasted eggplant, roasted um, red peppers, and roasted onion. Mm -hmm. And we put a couple of anchovies on top. It sounds so much better with your accent. <laughs> I know you gave me the English on this side. I have a, yeah. <laughs> All right. And then where else are we going? Where do you um, want to go? Forward? So, sure. So these are champignones, what mm -hmm. is mushroom with uh, pesto sauce. Oh my. Um, we have beautiful. gambas al ajillo, what is shrimp with garlic sauce, mm -hmm. a little bit of chili for um, spicy. Just great. Um, we have um, dates uh, with bacon. So, and there, is there an almond vino, in there? It's almond, almond. Oh, that dentro. looks wonderful. Mm -hmm. May I try while you're? Of course. You go ahead. <laughs> yeah. don't, don't mind me. I'm ready. So, so this is Spanish omelet, mm. um, tortilla española. Like in Spain, every single house mm -hmm. we grow up with this. So 
Um, Probably the most typical tapas in yeah, Spain. Yeah, in, in okay. the bar, everybody you go, you know, you can find almost every, but Spanish omelet, always. Always. Always, okay. yeah. This is pisto manchego, mm -hmm. which is all kind of veggies. We cut the veggies and go, um, we suffering with garlic and onion, and then we had um, tomato. And are these typical portions, these plates here? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. This is what okay. is tapa, so it's more. And then we've like, got to have dessert. And then we have, well, we have the sabor de España. So this, this oh, yeah. is all the meat in Spain. So this is jamón serrano. We have Spanish chorizo, fuet, and then we have three different cheese. So manchego, campo de Montalban, and blue cheese. And you would call this uh, what kind of plate then? Uh, it's like sabor, charcuterie. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. We call sabor de España. Okay. So the flavor of Spain is mm -hmm. right here. Very good. So, and then we make desserts. So we make the flan and we make tarta de Santiago, mm -hmm. which is almond cake. Okay. And, the flan is and is this caramel sauce? Yes. I don't want to tip yes. it too yes. much. There we go. We make it. Oh. Yeah. So. And then we've got to have a little, uh, what else are we going to have with it? Because we have to have the libations sure. with it, right? So what we've been fortunate to have um, all of our wines imported from Spain. So we have an excellent selection of Spanish reds and whites, and I just brought in one of each. And a, and a Spanish wine would be what? Is that typically dry or is it more full-bodied? What is a Spanish wine the, typically? It, it, Span it runs the gamut? It runs the gamut, absolutely. Mm -hmm. okay. It depends yeah. on the region, the climate, because there's so many microclimates. What's that contrast? That's fun because that's from <laughs> northern Spain where they grow apples, and that's sidra or cider. I'm going to show you. Apple show cider. You yeah. Show me, please. Um, yeah. That the way that this... Cider and it's a dispenser. Push. Yes. Come on. All right. So, so this is all you need, and you're supposed to drink like shut. Like right a shut. Up. Yes. Well, let me read this first, yes. and then I'll <laughs> then I'll try like shut. Uh, if you want to try Laferia, we are giving away four twenty-five dollar <laughs> gift cards to enter. Go to our Facebook page for contest rules. You can always go to clickondetroit.com, and you can check it out there. Tati, Jason, to your health. <laughs> you know, Save